everyone, welcome to Jubilee Hour's first open dance workshop. Really exciting to put this out for you to enjoy at home. It's been filmed during the lockdown, so please forgive any of the sound and video quality, but we've done this because we really wanted to share it with you now. What you're going to see in this video is a little routine and a warm up, ready to do a Maracatu choreography. Um, Maracatu is a style of carnival from the northeast of Brazil in Pernambuco state in Brazil. I think you're going to really enjoy trying out some of the movements and maybe it'll inspire a little bit more research into the background of Maracatu. It's a carnival practice you see usually every February, March in Brazil, um, parading around the streets, massive costume, loads of singing, drumming, and it's a really, really beautiful spectacle with a very rich history. Um, typically a Maracatu cortejo consists of kind of a royal court, which has lots of different kinds of costumes, which are... Um, evocative of the Portuguese royal court at the time. It's the story of um, the celebration and the crowning of a king and queen and to sort of process in the street and share the story of those different rituals, languages, songs, thinking of when those people were taken from Africa and ended up in Brazil, mixing with the different traditions from Portugal, the native indigenous practices that were in Brazil and sort of um, African roots that ended up there. Maracatu today is a really interesting spectacle also because it's it's got a lot of different pathways into more modern styles. So you might get groups that use different instruments that play different kinds of speeds. Some groups play very slow, some very fast, some kind of in the middle. All the groups commonly use a similar set of instruments um, between the Alfaya, Caixa, Abe, Mineiro, Gongue, and some groups use Chimbao or hand drums as well. And uh, within the dance, you'll see lots of movements that mirror different aspects of different Orishas, which are the deities from the Candomblé tradition, which is the Afro-Brazilian religion um, based in Brazil. If you want to learn more, you can check out our website. There's a little bit on there, but happy researching because it's a great, great style of cultural dance and music to really, really dig into and find out a lot about the origins of just such a wonderful style of carnival. Um, originally comes from kind of uh, pre-1800s where different groups were kind of taken to the streets to, as a protest really, to sort of uh, be able to represent themselves on the street. It's a really, really important message. And Jubilee has invested a lot of time in working with um, dance and music to bring those together to create something really, really exciting in the street. In the event of not being able to do that just at the moment, we wanted to share some online content with you. So you can look forward to a few more of these coming through the year. So I'm going to hand you over now to Freya for a warm up and to Louise for our class. Thanks a lot. Enjoy. <laughs> So we're going to raise our pulse, have a quick stretch and just generally get a bit warmer. So we'll start just by marching. Shake our arms a bit. And maybe get in that march a bit bigger now. a bit more, waking them up. And now we're going to slide. And now we're going to change it to a bit more of a step, so we're jumping from side to side. And bringing some arms into it. So you can bring them up, maybe to the side. Bring them up for now. Maybe bring a bit more energy into it as you get a bit warmer now. We're gonna go round, so we're gonna go to the front and to the side, to the back. Back. 
side. Okay, bring it down. Just into a bit of a squat, plie, reaching all the way up. And all the way down. Breathing. And just letting it hang. and warm and stretched if not you can also rewind the warm-up part of the class and do it again if needs be but hopefully you're feeling good and warm so I'm going to lead you through some choreography our first movement is going to go right left right and left so with the feet I'm stepping out and back in out and back in and if you'll notice i'm stepping one two three one two three and there's a little bit of a bouncy quality to it okay so you can have a little try of that one two three one two three and then see if you can add in that bounce and even add in those arms which are going all on a mid-level but a slight scoop with the arms so it's not just straight across and straight back in we're going out and back in but it's like creating a very shallow W shape with the fingers now if those feet are a little bit too complicated you can just step out and back in out and back in just as a way of making it a little bit more simpler which is totally fine. 
So just recapping that, we go one, two, three, four, five, and I'm crossing the feet each time because I'm imagining that I'm traveling this movement in a parade. So in order to travel forwards, I would really need to use that cross, even crossing at the back perhaps to travel backwards. So let's just do that one more time all together. Remember you can take it at your level. If you want to just leave the arms for now, just concentrate on the feet, that's totally fine. You can go fists and then those fists right on the waist. So we go one, two, three, four. This time we're gonna go crossing at the top and opening, across and opening. So a little detail with the hands there. They're crossing here, so there's a slight bend in the wrist and then it's opening out. Bend at the wrist, opening out. Same thing with those feet. So again, if you're someone who's just going out and in, that's totally fine, stick to that. If you're going with the one, two, three and crossing it over, it's exactly the same. So let's just do four of those with the second move. So we go one, two, three, four. Okay, let's put those together. So we go one, two, three, four, cross, open, cross, open, cross, open, cross, open. Little detail if you want to add it, as you open and the right leg comes out, you can look towards that right hand, crossing, opening to the left this time, looking at the left hand. So you have this detail with the head. If you want to add that in, you can do. So next movement, we're traveling side to side, okay? And with the feet, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cross one foot over and with my back foot, I'm going to be on the pad of the foot here. So I'm almost, it's almost like you can imagine that you're kind of hobbling, or if you want to imagine that the back foot, you have a high heeled shoe and the front foot has a flat shoe. I'm gonna just play around with this feeling of up and down, up and down. And just have a little play, see if you can travel forwards with that. So you can see my body is just moving up and down with that one. I'll turn to the back in case that's useful. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to travel to our right and I'm going to put my left leg in front. Okay, so I'm going one, two, three, four. I'm going to cross over with my right to travel to the left. One, two, three, four. Okay, one more time. Just give it a try. We go one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. If that's a little bit complicated, not to worry at all. You can literally just step one, two, three, tap, two, two, three. Okay, so just three steps and then a tap together if you wish. Firstly, we're going to have those fists again that I mentioned as a, an option for the first movement. So making the hands into fists, placing them on the waist. Imagine you've got your crinoline, your hoop skirt, so it's fitting right on the waist. So you wouldn't be able to put your hands any lower because your skirt is coming right out. That's if you are a lady in Carnival, sometimes um, the, the skirts are quite huge, so, well, quite often. So you wanna imagine that you're taking up all that space. So we're gonna try that movement. Moving to the right, crossing over the left. One, two, three, four, two, two, 
three, four, two more times. And hold it there. Great stuff. Okay, so we're going to add on another movement. It's kind of like another layer. So if you want to just stick with that or just stick with a one, two, three, tap, two, two, three, tap. This is fine. You can imagine you've got your skirt on and no one can see your feet anyway, so it's fine. Don't worry about it. But if you want to add in another layer, we'll do four with the hands on the hips or the fists on the on the waist rather and then we're going to do four with um, an extra layer so the arms are going to go up down up down up down up down and you, as you've probably guessed as we travel to the right it's our right arm that's moving as we travel to our left it's our left arm and you really want to keep the elbow nice and high so don't let it drop down here, okay, we want to keep that elbow up. Feels quite strange if you've never done that movement before, um, it does feel quite strange, especially coming down, quite difficult to keep that elbow up, but just have a go. So we're going to add that in with the feet. We go one, two, three, four. Remember to change those feet over, yeah, two, two three, four, three, two, three, four, last time, three, four, okay, let's put that together, so we've got potentially four here, and four with the arms moving, as I say, you may want to just go one, two, three, tap, you may just want to just keep here, so you do eight of those, that's also fine, okay, so let's go for it. We go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Last time with the fists. And one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. Last time, two, three, four. Great stuff. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to put those two chunks of choreography together. So if you remember the first one, we've got these like kind of shallow W's that we're creating, fingers together. So we do four of those with the feet coming out and up to here. Then we're crossing over with the hands on the, uh, the fist on the waist and then adding in those arms. So let's put that all together so far. Remembering your version, your level, whatever that is, it's totally fine. Okay, so we go to our right. Ready, and we go one, two, three, four, cross, open, cross, open, cross, open, cross, open, and that's the trick. <laughs> so after we've gone here, and one, two, three, four, because timing is really important. Three, four, two, the side, looking at your lovely audience on your parade with the arm, keeping that elbow high, looking in the same direction, nice and slow for the time being. Okay, so if you need a recap of any of those, you can also rewind if you need to. Other than that, we're going to move on, if that's okay. So we've got some lovely spins, okay? So I'll show you those first and then do a little breakdown. So one, two, three, and four, two, two, three, and four, three, two, three, and four, four, two three and four. Okay, so let's start. I'm going to turn towards my right and I might flip this around in a moment just so that's a little clearer. My right leg is going to be the one with the flat shoe. My left leg has the high heel on it. So we're going one, two, 
three, four. And that down up again. If that's not comfortable for you, or you think actually that's just too complicated for me today, not to worry, you can literally just take your time to walk that around. Remembering those counts as well, okay? So you might just want to go one, two, three, tap, two, two, three, tap. That's also fine. We're gonna just have another little look at those legs. So I'm turning towards my right. One, two, three, and four. And that's to really anchor myself, okay? Especially if the, if the music's quite quick and that turn ends up being quick, you need something to really anchor you so you can stop. And that's why the arms come down as well. Okay, let's just do that one more time and then I'll turn around. One, two, three, and four. So I'm going back front. I'm gonna turn around so you can see and I'm gonna turn into my right, right leg. One, two, three, and four. Back front. I'll turn towards my left. Imagine I've just finished that movement. One, two, three, and four. I'll go another right and another left. Right, two, three, and four. Left, two, three, and four. Okay, so remember you can choose any level option, any version that you like there. So let's try and put that together, okay? So we will have just finished one, two, three, four, which is really handy because we've got our right leg already flat, we've got our left leg already on the pad of the foot, so that's perfect to turn to the right, okay? So let's finish that last move. Remember, we've got this leg crossing over. We're traveling in this direction. We go one, two, three, four to finish. Turn, two, three, and four. Turn, two, three, and four. Two, third time, and four, three, and four. Okay, remember those arms are coming down to help anchor you in that moment. And you can even imagine that your crinoline is wanting to continue the same way, it has a lovely nice swish to that movement, especially if it stops on your waist and all that material keeps moving, it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's add one more movement as a kind of bonus movement. If you wanna call it a day there and just practice those, that's totally fine as well. So I'll show you the movement first. I'll break it down and I'll turn around as well. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three times. Out and out. And here, what am I ready for? The beginning again, okay? Almost as if I choreographed it, isn't it? Anyway, bad jokes aside. Three, four, two, two. Three, four, three, two, three, four. Remember, we've done three of those. Now it's time to do out and in, out and in as we turn. Out and in, out and in, okay? So let's just break that down a little bit, okay? I'm gonna to turn to the side so you can see exactly what I'm doing. With the feet, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four, so just forward and backwards. This leg's not really moving. This one's doing a, a lot of work. Okay, going forwards and backwards. We've done three sets of those. We're going to pivot around this leg. Imagine that there's something stuck that leg, that foot, sorry, to the floor. It can't move, but you can spin around it. So we're going to step, turn, step, turn, and then we bring it in to start from the beginning. Let's do that with the arms, nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. So it's coming down and up with the other side. Nice scoop with the arms to make sure that the elbows aren't dropping. 
and they're not all so you know we don't want to be here either we're not straight with those arms it's a nice gentle scoop okay so try and think about somewhere in between dropping those elbows straightening those arms somewhere in between okay so let's go one two three four two two three four three two ready to turn send it out send it out so it's like offering your heart out to whoever wherever whatever you can just imagine your own audience or anything you like so that turn out and out and and then we're ready to begin again okay show you one more time this time facing the back so we can see ready and one two three four two two three four three ready to turn out, out, and, and that's where I would start again. Okay, we're going to put it all together, okay? So a little recap, a little talk through before we actually do it. So we've got out here, four of those, remember you can just step out and back in, so that feels too complicated to step one, two, three, one, two, three. Four of these, four with the arms coming high, three, four, and, so you've got that and to bring everything back in, one, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, maybe looking at your audience, last one, and with the arms, one, two, three, four, we go right, uh, to the left, sorry, to the right, we're finishing on the left then we're ready to turn okay so we've got our, those legs ready turn two three and four 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 you might find that those turns are too quick not a problem at all you can take longer to turn okay instead of turning for four you can turn, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. So you just go and eight at the end. Turn to the other side. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. Still using those legs to anchor you, still using those arms, but just a slower version, okay? So you might be there already, then we lift this arm up a little bit just to cheat our way into this one two three send it out 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 and one two let's keep going three four cross open cross open cross open open and one two three four two Three, four, three, two, three, four, four, two. With the arm and up, down, up, down. Keep that elbow up. Up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. Turn, two, three, and four. Turn, two, three, and four. Turn, three, and four. Last time. One, two. Three, two, send it out, open, open, and we're ready to start again. Okay, so if you do need a recap of anything there, you can go ahead and do that.
So now that we've been nice and warm, we're going to start to cool down. So we'll just start by marching, rolling our shoulders back a bit. Forward, forward a few times. Just start bringing our arms up, breathing in and out. Breathing in again. And stopping the marching, breathing out. And we're just going to fold forward. We don't need to have the legs completely straight here. Bit of a bend, give them a bit of a wiggle before reaching down. You might place your hands on your thighs or on your shins or on the floor, whatever's comfortable. But we're just feeling a nice stretch in the hamstrings here. And let the head go as well. While stepping the legs out, Coming round to one leg, so maybe the left leg. And then to the right leg. So now we're going to turn to the side from whichever leg you were on. And we're going to bring this into a bit of a lunge. So this might be a comfortable lunge for you, but what we're going to do is stretch the hip flexors a bit. So you might want to go further down, I'm going to stay further up. And if you want to place your hand anywhere, you can place it on your thigh, try to avoid having it directly on the knee. We're just going to stretch here for a moment. Or turning to the other side, gently. And like I said, if you do want to go down for a deeper stretch, feel free. From here, we're going to bring this foot in a bit and we want the heel to be pushing down to the floor as much as you can to feel a nice stretch in the calf. So you might want to bring the other leg forward a bit and you just want to really be pushing through that heel so that you can get a nice calf stretch. Or switching it round to the other side. So really pushing your heel down here. If you have a wall, that is really nice. I'll pretend to have a wall. So you can push against the wall, almost like you're trying to push the wall out of the way to get an extra stretch through that back leg. So next, we're going to take the leg and we're gonna hold it to the back here. And what you want to aim to do is push the hips forward a little bit, not overextending, whilst pulling this leg back. And you should feel a really nice stretch in the quad there. And if you want to kind of increase that stretch even more, you can, while holding your leg, take it out to the side a bit and you should feel a stretch all the way up your quad there. And then we'll bring this leg forward, just pull it into you, give it a hug. While placing it down. And here, you can have your hands on your thighs or your shins again, avoid putting it on your knee or even on your toes on the floor but we just want to get a nice stretch all the way up the back of your leg there. Now switch into the other leg, pulling it back. If you want to go out a bit. Bringing it in front of you again, giving it a good squeeze. and then placing it down in front of you and going down. Feeling that stretch, oh yes. And then bringing it in, rolling up slowly. We're gonna stretch our arms a bit. So it's to roll the shoulders back so that we're nice and open. We're gonna start by just bringing one arm in front of us, pulling that across. Feeling a nice stretch. And then we're going to bring it over the top of our head. So here uh, we want to be stretching the tricep which is this one. So trying to keep this arm as straight as possible you can kind of push it down a little bit so you can see if that you aim to kind of reach down. If you're really flexible you might be able to reach this hand here and you can get an even deeper stretch there. 
and then we'll switch to the other arm. Bringing it over the top. And all the way down. So now we're going to hug all the way forward and pull the arms out so you can see. And then we're going to interlace our fingers and pull back a bit. And if you want to go deeper, you can kind of lift the arms a bit. And here you might want to have your fingers interlaced or you might want to just have hold your hands here. And if you want to pull your palms together, feel free. And then next, we're just going to stretch our necks a bit. So release that one there for taking your hand over to one side and just without pulling your head to the side, just place your hand on top to kind of add a bit of resistance. Feel that stretch. And then almost looking down into your armpit, which after class is uh, interesting. And if you reach your arm out here, that will also increase the stretch. And pull it over to the other side. Looking down. And just rolling the neck back and forward. little nod. Uh, we're just going to start by rolling our shoulders again and forward, bring the elbows in a little bit, back and then just rolling our wrists and the other way. And then doing the same with the ankles. And the other way. Switching legs. And the other way. And then just giving all of your limbs a little shake. Breathing in all the way up again and down all the way down one last little shake of the legs bending down stretch it up again and then release that breathing in all the way up and out again Segundo, achei que estava.